Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Fang, just Fang, and today we're back again <laughs> with another part 101 video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, 2020, uh, or not 2020, 2021, which was a huge year for part 101. Um, and what I'm expecting, or yeah, yeah, expecting for 2022. Um, so this year early this year or maybe it was even late last year i don't remember but i made a video saying what i want to see in power 101 and i have the list right now uh i'll just read it real quick there was polaris level 80 new gear new abilities uh more free to play areas new skeleton key bosses updated graphics more companions and continuation of the queen ending now the reason why i'm saying that 2021 was like Almost one of the big, the biggest years for part one one is because since October 2019 we had no response saying no updates no updates no updates and finally uh, this summer they finally did an update um, I I forgot what it was it was just a side quest but I it's yeah <laughs> I don't really know to say about that but it it was huge because it's finally an update in part 101 which means they might be working on a new world right now like as we speak um so that's what that's making me really hopeful for 2022 um polaris i'm gonna say i still i don't know my i'm it's between polaris and krakatopia if they make a new world krakatopia i'm feeling for some reason more so because of just the Stormgate. I guess there is. A, is there a Stormgate to Polaris? I don't remember, but there was a Stormgate to Kakatopia, and there was like concept art or something. I don't remember. But yeah. Um, also, uh, I'm doing questing, and towards the end, you'll see. Uh, or I don't even know. I might be not be talking for that long, but there was um, something about a shipment to Krakatopia or whatever. I'm just doing Bonnie Ann's uh, final promotion. Real fun stuff. Um, level 80. Um, with level 80, uh, I'm not sure i mean with a new world obviously level 80 most likely maybe 75 we don't know um yeah uh level 80 i don't really know what to say about that because it really would just come with them adding more content to the game um and with that also new abilities or powers which um yeah i think that it's likely if they add a new world, at least on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, 10 not being, or 1 not being likely, 10 being very likely, I think it's about a 7 that they add a new world next year, um, because of the update, I think they could do that, oh yeah, it was called the Sinbag quest, I think, or something, um, yeah, so if they do add a new world, either Krakatopia or Polaris, which I said Polis last time, because I was playing way too much Among Us, um, but yeah, level 80 would come with that, which means new gear, which Krakatobia gear, I don't think it would look as cool as uh, Polaris gear, but like, I don't know. I still think it'd be cool. Abilities, I could never imagine what kind of abilities they could add. There could be some cool ones. Uh, I have almost a max um, musketeer and a, all, and a max buccaneer and then like a level 50 witch doctor and a level 40 privateer. And then swash, I don't play on anymore that's like level 44 so what i would be hoping is some cool powers for buck and musketeer and then obviously all the other classes as well but those are the two that i could actually like play on i guess maybe wish doctor as well um yeah so um more to free oh more free to play areas okay ah so much you know i've said this so many times but i think that adding a free to play area even just like a little bit more would be the best thing Pirate 101 and King's Isle could do for both their games, I feel like. With um, Wizard 101, you only unlock, I think it's uh, Train Avenue, right? Um, Train Avenue is not a lot. It's one third of Wizard City, or not. Eh. Yeah, I'd say you get about one third of Wizard City, which is literally the first world and I think the shortest world. And I know I'm not talking about that, but in Pirate, you only get up to Bloody Shoals, right? Blood Shores? I don't remember what it's called. Um, but you only get, like, the Azteca portion of that, right? And that's just not enough. 
even if they just added the the sharks, the cutthroats, and then the other quest line, I don't remember, there was like a ring and uh, the Flying Dutchman and the Master and all that, if they just added that, that'd be so cool. And then you could, if you want to go to like Captain Gun stuff, you can purchase membership. I would personally love it if they did up until Captain Gun with the volcano and that's the last free part. Because I don't think they'd have to introduce trade when Skywise. No, they wouldn't. So they could literally just give Fl Flossem, whatever it's called, Skywise for free. That would be so cool. And then people could see the Stormgate to uh, Cool Ranch and be like, I want to go there. And they'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I think more free-to-play areas would be awesome. How likely? I'd say given updating, I don't know. Uh, they did like the free weekend for Wizard 101. I don't. I've, they've never extended the free to play. I'd say it's like a two out of ten. Very unlikely that they um, would ever do more free to play areas. Um, new skeleton key bosses. Yeah, that's that's the easy way. That's the easy way out, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Um, yeah, I mean. They can do more skeleton key bosses. Do we want more skeleton key bosses? Yeah, because custom loot's awesome, but I would love to see a new world. I think that a new skeleton key boss with the new with new worlds or something, or even just the next update, is very likely. I think it might be like a 9 out of 10, honestly. Because skeleton key bosses aren't... I mean, I wouldn't say they're not hard to make, because I don't program, but I would say they're less hard than a whole new world. So, yeah. Um, updated graphics. I don't think that this will happen anytime soon. I was very optimistic about this. I don't think it's Pirate 101's time for that. I think they should be pumping out new content instead of uh, doing like updated graphics. I think that that would be like down the line a, lot, a, a little ways away. I'm not saying a lot, but yeah, just, just a little bit. I don't think that they need to do that right now. Um, yeah. More companions? Ooh. <laughs> um, I don't know. With the new world, I think they could definitely introduce some new companions. I would mostly be looking for companion promotions, like a fourth promotion for a lot of the main characters, like the one you get uh, free play and then all that stuff. And mm, probably not Bonnie, because she just got. I, I don't know. I think that. Because the last time we promoted all of our companions about, except for Bonnie, was like Mushu? I think, like, late Mushu, maybe. So I think it's time for, like, a new uh, companion promotion. And I think that'd be awesome, because then that'd mean, like, more powerful companions, more epics. I think that'd be super cool. And add more of a fresh touch to PvP as well. Um, lastly, the continuation of the Queen ending. Hmm. I don't think... I don't know, because they kind of did the... What was that called? Whatever the Ashes of Armada fortress thing is, uh, I don't remember what it's called, uh, the, I don't remember, but, um, yeah, I don't think they would, um, I don't know, they, they could continue that, and maybe that comes out at, like, the final boss of the last, or the next world, or something. I mean, I don't think it's as prominent, and I don't know, but, yeah, so, that's kind of what I'm thinking about, like, how likely it is, but what I want to actually see, like, this is, like, very hopeful. <laughs> I want to see Krakatope, this is too much for, I know, one year, but, like, I think Wizard does, like, spring and fall updates, if I remember correctly, like, Caramel, and then whatever the new one is, I don't remember, I don't know. Um, but seeing Krakatope and Polaris, level 80, or level 90, I know that's, that's a lot. Um, new companions, new companion promotions, more free-to-play areas up in all of Skull Island. That's way too much, I understand that, but just imagine that. Um, updated graphics I actually don't want, because I've realized that I kind of miss the Wizard 101 graphics. I know it's kind of weird, but, like, it's kind of nostalgic. So, I don't know, I don't think I would want that necessarily, but yeah, um, that, that's like very hopeful, but I think that it's a decent chance that we get uh, a new world with like the MGI stuff and all that, and I'm also hopeful for Wizard 101, because it seems like they're doing good stuff there with the new, is it Lemuria? I don't remember what it is, uh, but yeah, very good stuff there, um, 
that's really all I have for this video. Just wanted to get out a video. Uh, by the way, my Terraria videos aren't doing that well, so I don't think I will continue that series. Uh, just kind of going with the views. I, I don't, don't worry, I still love Terraria. It's just, I not getting the views. I, I just beat it with my friend, uh, off camera. But, yeah, it's, uh, that's really it. Uh, see you in the, oh gosh. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.